Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles makeup video and we are gonna be dusting out this. This is a new palette from Catrice. I ordered two of them, but I ordered them off Amazon because you can no longer get Catrice at my Ulta and I can't get it at any store. Um, but I got it on Amazon or you can get it at Catrice.com. But because I have Prime, I got it on Amazon. Anyway, this is what we're gonna use. And I saw Tati use this and she said that this formula was so good. So we're gonna be using this. I She used the pinks and I am not. I am going to use the nudie ones. The, this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. I, I'm probably not all of them, but they're so pretty. And I just, because I'm wearing this peachy colored shirt, I'm thinking the pink just wouldn't go. So we're gonna use these. <clears throat> we're gonna use these nude colors and it's gonna be great hopefully it's as good as she said it was I believe her though I also got this she also said this was really good I don't know that I can use this one with this palette because it's kind of a it's kind of coppery it's, a, it's called bronze glitz and she used it in her lower waterline but when I put it on my hand it was a little bronzy because they have another one that's of these I think it's called mocha something and I really wanted that one but they didn't have it on Amazon and I didn't want to pay the shipping for just this it, these are six dollar palettes so that's why we're trying it because it's six dollars and she said the formula was so good so we're gonna try it anyways let's get our base on so I am going to put my primer I'm using the YSL um, what is it called? Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I love this stuff. It's so good and it has glitter in it. I don't know if you can tell. Oops. Can you see the glitter? It's just so fine. You can barely see it's gold. And you can barely see it on your skin too, but it's, it's just enough. So anyways, we're going to use that. And then... I'm gonna go in with my, I've got a couple cream products that I've been really using and liking. I already did a video on them, so you guys already know. I probably should have done this ahead of time, right? But I know some people like to see like the whole face. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use my, this is the Milani bronzer. And this is the, I have to put my glasses back on, sorry. Um, it's the Milani bronzer. Correct and per conceal and perfect in honey, 01 honey. And this is the Revolution, I believe. Yes, Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush. And this color is, I can't tell what color it is. I don't know, it's kind of a mauve color. I'll have the color listed down below so that you'll know exactly which one it was. It looks really dark when you put it on your hand, but it's. I love it. I love the mauve colors. So I'm gonna go in with this. Okay, put a couple dots of that. And squeeze it again. A couple dots of that. And then this and this. And we're good. And a little right there. I'm using the Dermablend concealer. I love this concealer. Yep, Dermablend Cover Care. And it is in the color N. Can't tell if it's a six and six. Yep, we're gonna go in now with a little bit of my cream blush. I'm just gonna put some on my hand, just a little tiny bit. It's that much. And then I just take my finger and I spread it out a little bit, and I just put a couple dots on each side. And then just blend that a little with my finger and then with my sponge. 
because I don't want a lot of color there. Just a little bit. And then all these colors are going to get blended in with my um, foundation. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. And this is the Marc Jacobs, I don't know what it's called, it's Marc Jacobs liquid. I don't know if it has a name. Surreal Skin. I don't think I have known that since I had it. I think this is the only um, liquid foundation he has. So, And I'm just going to dot it around a little bit. And then go in with my sponge. So I want to spread it out pretty good with my finger because I don't want it to get all sucked up in my sponge with the first swipe. A lot on my forehead and then I just want to pounce it around blend it all out okay so I'm gonna grab my it cosmetics bye bye pores and I'm going to go in make sure there's no wrinkles under my eyes my forehead press them all out real good And then grab some powder and go in. All right. Now I'm going to take my powder brush and spread that out to all the rest of my face. Have it all set. Now let's go in with a little bit of contour highlight blush powders start with the contour I know this is extra because I could go just the way it is and just do the eyes but I'm a little extra so I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown in the color natural I haven't told you guys the color of this in a while because I forgot And basically, I'm just going to go in the same places I went with the cream. Pull it down my neck just a little so it doesn't look like a mask. And then grab this little guy and go just like this. Get that little skinny nose that I wish I had. All right, now we'll go in with some blush. This is my Dallas from Benefit. Benefit. Just a little bit of plum color. Then I'm gonna take my dual fiber brush and just blend all that in there really well and then I'm going to go in with my highlight I'm just going to go in with it on my finger I put it on my cheekbone on my nose On the center of my nose since I didn't really get to do that with my concealer because I forgot but if you forget you can just you know fix it somehow with something else and then I want to blend all that in and now we're going to do our brows and then we're ready to try our eyeshadows. 
And for my brows, I'm just using this little Wet n Wild one. If I can get it open. And it's just a powder. And I it only comes in the one color. The, I use the center one. And I'll just use this Equate brush. And I'm gonna go like that, get it on that side. Tap it off and just go in and build the brow. And I know I told you guys before, but there might be some new people. I am trying to re-form my brows. So I am letting them grow and putting castor oil on them to help them grow because no, there's no hair where I want there to be hair. So I'm trying to draw them in until I get hair. And right now I have just a few hairs in those places. But we're getting there. But we're looking kind of werewolfy in the meantime. So, yeah, something like that. Maybe a little square right there. A little further in. But that's basically what I want right there. Only want hairs. And right now there's not very many. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to put some gel on it. So that it'll stay there. there. There is kind of a gel in, it's kind of a wax in here, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use this because it doesn't flake and it helps to keep the powder in place and to keep the hairs where I want them. Because right now, when I'm letting them grow, they're going every which way. Not normal eyebrow way. So, anyways, that's why I'm using gel because they're crazy right now. Okay, moving on, we're ready for the eyeshadow. And so for my first bit for the part that I'm gonna use for a transition color, I just cleaned all these brushes and I don't know if they're dry. That one seems dry. So we're gonna use this one and we're gonna use this color right here for the transition. It's very dusty, as you can see. It looks like it's going on very nicely, but it is dusty. I'm pretty much just going to put this all over, up above, all the way up to, almost up to my eyebrow, definitely up on this brow bone, because I have a lot of brow bone to cover. And then all the way in here, okay. Maybe a little more over here. Now we're going to go in with this darker brown over here. We're going to take this brush. We're going to use this on this darker brown. And we're going to see how dark it is first by starting in the outer corner. Oh, it's pretty dark. 
Okay, so we're going to use that for the crease color and the outer corner. It is nice though. And then I'm going to pull it all the way in to the crease, all the way across and do the inner half of the eye. I've been doing my shadows like this lately and I feel like it's more, how can I say, attractive? No, that's not what I mean. It's better for my mature skin because I have a lot of wrinkles on the inner part of my eye. When I put light colors there, which I love to do, it just kind of accentuates them. So I'm just going to blend this in a little bit and then I'm going to add a little extra to the outer corner because I want to get that lift out there. But I did put it all the way inner and outer and in the crease all the way across. So let's just do the other eye. Yeah, I really feel like it helps. I'm just going to take this fluffy brush that I use for the transition color and blend all this because it gets a little bit, you know, right here, get a little bit wrinkly. And we want to blend all that into the wrinkles, make it look good. It kind of covers up that dot, but not completely because I'm going to put some shimmer right there in the middle. But I want this to all be blended super super well and then I'm just going to grab some of this I think I'm going to grab this shimmer right here I know they probably have names but I can't read them so we're just going to go with it it's the darker of the two this one's as a shimmer and this one is a shimmer and I may go back into the inner corner down here with that one but I'm going to use this one right now for the center of my lid wait a minute no, I'm not. It's pink. So I will be going into this shimmer with my finger. Yeah, it's almost white. It's beautiful. And it's more of what I was looking for. And I'm just going to tap that on. And then I'm going to go back with my blending brush. And blend it in a little bit I think it looks pretty good I got a little more shimmer than I was looking for which is why I'm blending it down a bit but you know you can never have too much shimmer so it just spread out more than I had intended. So next time I would probably not use my finger because my nails are too long and just go in with one of these little brushes so I can get just a little bit, but I still think it looks nice just the way it is. So now I am going to go in. Oh, I do need to put a little on the bottom, don't I? And I'm going to go into this lighter of the two that I started with, the transition color. And I'm going to put it underneath because I think that also helps with the wrinkles under my eyes. And I'm going to go in with this pencil. This is the uh, Maybelline Tattoo Liner and it's in Bronze Glitz. And I'm going to put this in my lower waterline.
I wish they had one that was a little bit lighter than this. I mean, it's pretty, but I think this would go better with that other palette, or that other color of the palette, the mocha one. They had a one that was pink, rose something, which I didn't get, because I had planned to get that other palette. But it looks good. I think they look good. The eyes look great. This looks good. I just wish it was, I probably should have got the pink one if I had known I was going to get the rose palette. I would have got the pink one, but it still looks good. I think it all looks good. I'm thinking a nudie pink one. Maybe a nudie pink um, gloss. Like, like a frosty pink gloss. What's this? This looks good. Let's see. It looks pretty good with it. I'll tell you what this is. Oh, it's that plumping one. I can feel it. I have to put my glasses on to tell you what it is, though. All right, this is the L'Oreal, I remember that, L'Oreal Coconut Plump. What do you think? Do you want to see it again? I think the formula blends beautifully. I think it looks good. I like it a lot. I can't wait till I, I've got another one ordered, a nude one. She said the nude one she had gotten first and she loved it. So she bought this one and the mocha one. And I wanted the mocha one. I'm not really as big on pinks. That's why I was going to get those. But I wanted to do a video. So I ordered this one and the nude one. And I'll order the mocha one when it comes in. But I think the formula is good. Tati was right. What can I say? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!